Welcome to the Pennsylvania Historical Marker series. Thanks, everyone. Today we're here at the Pennsylvania War Gun Factory Historical Marker in Hummelstown, Pennsylvania along Main Street. It says here, during the British occupation of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania's provisional government moved west and its official gun factory was established at Hummelstown. Secretly operating here from 1777 to 1779, it mass produced muskets and rifles for the Continental Army. Thanks, everybody. So this Pennsylvania uh, Revolutionary War gun factory that was moved to Hummelstown, uh, originally the, the war gun factory would have been in Philadelphia, and they would have had all the master gunsmiths and all the people that were there to help them would have been there. But when the British took over Philadelphia, obviously that no longer was an option. And uh, also Pennsylvania's government moved to Lancaster so they were looking for a place that would work and Hummelstown was chosen partially because of the population there was very patriotic uh, also <coughs> this was an area if you remember an earlier video that we did in Pennsylvania historical marker series the uh, Hanover resolves were signed which was the first in essence declaration of independence that was signed into uh, any kind of uh, tangible evidence uh, for the first time in the country's history in 1774, uh, a little over two years before the actual Declaration of Independence. Uh, so the, media, the Pennsylvania County, County or Council of Safety met on October 1st, 1777, <coughs> and that's when it was determined that they needed to move this to Hummelstown. Uh, not a whole lot, honestly, is really known about it. I'm getting most of my information from an antique gun site where the, I think they get most of their information uh, from letters that were sent by, I believe it was a Peter DeHaven, who was sort of put in charge of finding the place, finding the resources, and all those kinds of things. It's also not very well known where exactly this factory was. Where the historic marker is right along the uh, Main Street in Hummelstown, there's two thoughts on this. One, it's right there at that area. The other one, which makes a little more sense, is that uh, they would have need, <laughs> needed a mill and a water wheel for power. <clears throat> so they would have had to be down at the Swatera Creek, which you know is a little ways north of there. And they thought where the mill would have been, that's where the factory would have been. It is possible, too, that the factory was actually there along Main Street, which I sort of would lean more towards Swatera Creek. It would have been something that it would have been a little more secretive because if you got caught doing this, it was instant execution. You know, any kind of war uh, weapons or things of that nature were helping the war effort. You were dead. Uh, so there's not going to be any markings on these rifles other than the normal military marking, approval marking, uh, which I believe was a P. Um, but any other markings, like nobody's going to put their maker mark or anything on that because, you know, they'd be hunting you down. And it wouldn't make sense to have it like right there on Main Street. It would make more sense to have it down North the Creek where they could easily ship them down the stream. Uh, the Union Canal would have been wouldn't have been in service yet, but they it, they could have Swatera is big enough, deep enough creek that they could have moved it on that creek. Uh, there are no uh, remains at all, like I said. Um, they're really, like I said, there's there's a number of letters where they talk about having to go in a local area, how much the costs of the rifles and the making thereof. They also had a petition that the gunsmiths. Uh, asked for a bit of a raise and 
if everybody came from Philadelphia that had been at the war gun factory in Philadelphia, this was not a small operation. This was quite a large operation. It was clandestine, yes, but it was something quite of significance. And without this factory, we wouldn't have won the Revolutionary War because without the weaponry, you know, we wouldn't have been able to fight the British. And it was already enough of a task as is, but without weapons, it would have been impossible. And if you think, these probably would have been pretty basic uh, weaponry as well. Uh, not really uh, going to be anything special coming out of this factory. Just It's just a basic soldier's weapon. It had to fire. It had to be efficient. Uh, it couldn't break down, those types of things. So... Uh, and these were these were the best gunsmiths in the country at that time. So this uh, revolutionary gun factory, it would be awesome to know a lot more about it. But what little we do know, what we have from the letters uh, between uh, Peter DeHaven, another guy named uh, George Fry. Uh, they also had a, uh, we've talked about the Paxton boys before from the French and Indian War. And uh, I get, I'm assuming it's the son of John Elder. Uh, I believe his name was John Elder. He was the fighting parson. And uh, his son, I believe it was his son, Joshua Elder, mm -hmm. he was in charge of the Paxton militia, and they actually had him say, go around and get whatever supplies. If you have to take him, you have to take him. Because at that stage, it was just, they needed to get anything that they could. So that is, it's a pretty cool story. There's just not a whole lot there uh, of the Revolutionary War gun factory that was in Hummelstown, Pennsylvania just a couple miles west of Hershey, Pennsylvania, chocolate capital of the world. Uh, really cool history. I never knew about that until I saw the historic markers. So these historic markers teach us all a lot of different stuff. And this is part of our history. It's part of the reason that we're here today in America enjoying the freedoms that we have is because of a factory like this that was just not a whole lot's known anymore. Uh, with that, I will say farewell and we will see you on the next video and we will see you all about town thanks everybody